Hi, this is James Parkin again, and this is day two of my 365 day video challenge. And today I want to go through how I set up my new blue snowball microphone. And I'll go through what I need to do to set up the sound quality, and also tell you a little bit about why I chose this particular microphone for doing these videos. So come join me. So firstly, I just wanted to flip over onto my phone so I can show you the blue microphone on my desk here. It's actually taller than I thought it was going to be. It actually stands around 9 inches and this base here is about 7. Um, now I, this, this particular version of the microphone is the Snowball and they do have two available. There's a Snowball and then the Snowball Ice. And the difference between the two is that the Snowball can do both what they call cardioid recording, which just means sound coming directly at the microphone here, and omnidirectional, which basically means it can have record sound from 360 degrees around the microphone. So I decided to go with the Snowball to get an omnidirectional recording ability because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my recording so early on. Cardioid's going to be good for podcasting. Omnidire having the ability to do omni omnidirectional will mean that you can do music recording as well and also interviews and that was of interest to me. And actually on the back of the microphone down here we have this little switch and this just allows you to switch between the cardioid settings and the omnidirectional settings is really simple to use. Um, so that is the microphone kind of stood on my desk. I'll flip back onto my computer now and show you kind of some of the setup. So when I first plugged in the microphone, I was a little disappointed with the sound level. I felt like it wasn't very loud and really I wasn't able to boost it in any way. So I hit the internet and found a few tools which allow me to add some greater sound and greater depth to the volume on the microphone. So I'll go through what those tools are and how you can get them, how you can install them and set them up. So before I go over what did work for me, I just want to go over two other solutions that I found out there that weren't relevant to my particular problem but may be relevant to you. And the first one is checking the volume on your microphone. And to do that, you want to search for sounds. To sound, we're going to go to recording, microphone. And you can see here the levels bouncing up and down. Hit properties, levels, and you've got this volume bar which you can drag up and down. Maybe in certain scenarios it's down at zero, so you're not getting any volume sound out of the microphone. Worth checking before doing anything else. So that's a good first starting point. The second option that I saw was to actually uninstall the microphone and install it again. And to do that, we're going to go to settings, Bluetooth and other devices. And then on this audio side, we'll find the microphone blue snowball and what you're going to do is hit remove device it'll un uninstall the device drivers you then want to unplug it from the USB and plug it back into the USB so that it reinstalls the drivers again so let's now look at the tools that did work for me and it was threefold so the first tool I needed was this equalizer APO and it's available on SourceForge which is free open source software. It provides kind of the underlying equalizer tools um, which you can use to boost the microphone. On top of the equalizer APO piece of software I needed to download the piece equalizer and what is it does it provides an interface to the equalizer APO which is easier to use than the one provided. Finally, I downloaded the Audacity product, which 
I don't currently use to record audio. However, it did help me adjust the levels. And I'll show you how I did that. So once you've downloaded and installed these three pieces of software, I'd recommend installing the Equalizer APO first, then the Peace Equalizer, then Audacity. Once they're all downloaded and installed, what you want to do, and I'll just restart my piece interface now, is double click piece on here on the desktop. And it's going to load this dual options interface here. I used full interface mainly because the video I was watching also used, used full interface. And you can see here that I'm currently set up for Warm Classic, which is a setting that I have created. If we go back to Classic, this is where it actually started. And it does change the sound when you change settings. I'll reset it back to Warm Classic. The difference in Warm Classic is just that up here in the pre-amplifying, I've increased it from zero up to five, and that just gives it that little bit of extra volume, which I, I was missing. And you can adjust this bar as much as you, or as little as you like. And this is the only setting that I've played with so far. It's the only one I actually understand and know how to do anything with. The nice thing about Peace and Equalizer APO is that it will run, continue to run in the background when you're not actually using this interface. So I can turn it off and still the sound is as I'm expecting it to be. When we look at Audacity, let's create a new recording. So this is what I was using just to check my voice levels. And so if I start recording now, you can see that it's generating bars and frequency information. And I can see just how loud my voice is going to be when I actually talk into the microphone. So that's kind of cool information. Again, this is free and a lot of people do use this to record their audio. It's highly recommended and, and it is something I'm going to be investigating further as I go along this journey of recording more. So, so that's it. That's what I did to set up my volume level and I'll see you in the next video.